Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from Genesis chapter 2, verse number 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Now, quoting from Hebrew scholars in the Kumash, they say this about this verse. One who blows, blows from within himself, indicating that man's soul is a part of God's essence. The soul made man a living being, which is defined as a speaking spirit. Accordingly, the life that is unique to man and which only God could blow into him includes the power of intelligent speech. This is what elevates a human above animal life, the ability and therefore the responsibility to use his intelligence in God's service. Now, as speaking spirits, we are the only ones other than God that can decide what we want to say in advance and then release those words with specificity to accomplish a specific task. And as the Hebrew sages point out, we are to be doing this in the service of God, or we might say in partnership with him. Jesus said in Matthew 16, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you will bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you will loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We are to be the ones who are releasing our authority through our words to bind what needs to be bound and to loose what needs to be loosed. Jesus said in Mark 11, Verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be removed, be cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says will come to pass, he will have whatsoever he says. Use your words to speak to the mountains in your life to be removed. Jesus said in John 14, beginning at verse 12, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Are you a believer in him? He says, I want you doing the same works, Jesus said. What were the works that he did? Well, he healed the sick, raised the dead, cleansed the lepers. But he also spoke to fig trees. He spoke to storms. He spoke to fevers. He used his words to change circumstances. He says, he that believes on me, the works that I do, same works he did, using his words to speak to circumstances. He says, you're going to do those also. And greater works than they shall he do, because I go to my Father. That whatsoever you shall ask in my name, better word for ask, would be demand, whatever you demand in my name. This is not talking about prayer. This is talking about using your authority, released through your words, in the name of Jesus, to bind what needs to be bound and to loose what needs to be loose. And when you bind what needs to be bound and you loose what needs to be loose, then he says, whatever you ask, whatever you demand, whatever you bind in my name, whatever you loose in my name, I will do it. You bind it from earth, heaven backs up what you said. You loose it from earth, heaven backs up what you lose. He said that my father may be glorified in the son. If you ask anything, if you demand anything, if you bind anything, if you lose anything in my name, I will do it. Partnership. You bind it. He comes behind us with the power to see that what we have bound comes to pass in our life. As speaking spirits, we are the only ones other than God that can decide what we want to say in advance and then release those words with specificity to accomplish a specific task. And as the Hebrew scholars point out, we are to be doing this in the service of God. In Jesus' name.